Hey friends, you are back with the Aries Alchemist for another general tarot reading. And I'm in an excellent mood this rising. I'm tired of the moon, but it's feeling good. And I hope you guys are feeling good too. But so, um, I gotta explain this 12 times. So here go time number five or whatever, but I've switched up the way I do these readings now. I used to have three questions in a statement or I would just pull from a few cards from each deck. I got nine different decks that I use for these types of readings specifically. But now I have a set of eight questions that I think will be really helpful that I'm gonna ask each sign individually. But always it's gonna be for your sun, moon, and rising. Okay, so I'm gonna just do two signs each day. Six days a week. And then sometimes on Sundays, I'll do a collective for everybody. So first question, how is your past impacting your current situation? I just now got distinctly hungry. That's creepy. How's your past affecting your current situation? Okay, you got the Will of Fortune, the Tower card, the Knight of Cups, and the Chariot. So with the Wheel of Fortune and the Tower, we're starting off positive, right? So sometime in the past, you had a lot of different options. You chose the right one and you were able to change something in your life, something big in your life for the better. And things have been going well for you ever since then, for real. So it looks like coming up soon, though, there might be another decision to make. But you have what it takes to make sure that you keep on doing the right thing. What should you be focused on currently, though? Besides that situation. You're healing. I knew some of the same cards was going to come out again. That was poking. So, first, we got this Ten of Wands in reverse. Or, not reverse. But they want you to focus more on your healing right now. So, you did make that good decision in the past. But what they don't want is stuff, like, even deeper in the past to come back and haunt you like stuff from your childhood because they want you to stay on top as long as you possibly can now everything is temporary but the lows don't gotta be that low and the highs can be really high as long as you're working on your healing so you have the knight of cups and the chariot again encouraging you whatever this next big decision is to remember to trust yourself because you made the best decision the first time and you do have what it takes to get through now i do see though that your intuition is hitting like you have a feeling about what's going to be the best situation for you but at the same time you're a little bit nervous because you're like dang what if i'm wrong and last time i got lucky they're really cautioning you to do your best not to let those doubts creep in like you might not even want to share those doubts with somebody else so that they don't amplify them and i think i'm gonna write that down for your title don't let them amplify the doubts baby i'm trying to write so fast like oh my god they don't want to see me writing It literally be like 10 seconds though you guys are fine okay so next what is currently taking up too much of your attention fear this is what all this just boiled down to so you got the eight of cups in reverse and the knight of wands the main thing taking up your time is you're so afraid to be disappointed it's like you're not used to having good things yet like maybe you feel like most of your life you've been the underdog or something like that or you've been kind of neglected and so now that things are going really well it's like in the back of your mind you're waiting for things to go wrong because a deep part of you feels like that's what you deserve even though you really don't um i see that every now and then you get a little bit hopeless you feel like things are not clear for you and you kind of get stuck in a loop i'm hearing mostly like late at night before you go to sleep not really around other people you're a person that comes off confident to others is what i'm getting but when you're alone with just your thoughts like is when you tend to struggle and so i do see that yeah it really does stem from your childhood back when you did have to depend on a lot of people you didn't really get what you needed and so that just made you believe that maybe you don't deserve to have what you need or you don't deserve to have good things and even though those are like 
childlike thoughts, you know, those are the way that children think. When we don't heal those as adults, like we're stuck at the age, part of us is stuck at the age when we felt that way. So that healing is going to be monumental for your success, for sure. That can look like therapy, that can look like shadow work. Those are really just the top two recommendations. I thought there was going to be a third option, but therapy or shadow work, please? Shadow work you can do on your own or you can have it guided therapy. Obviously, you need to be with a professional therapist, but the answer is not just keeping it in or talking to friends and family because they don't have what you need to really help you. What's something you can expect in the future? What's something you can expect in the near future? So for some of you, I do see that you're going to, you know, keep going back and forth of, between feeling confident and not being clear about whether or not this is something that you should be doing. Uh, with the four of wands in reverse and the star both in reverse, I do see you almost like refusing to celebrate yourself because again, like just that problem with feeling like you don't deserve it and then saving your energy, your money and things like that. Not really even having fun with the success that you've acquired now because it's like, like let's say you have more money than you ever had before. You're like, oh man, I got to save all of this just in case I go broke again because I never want to go back to being as poor as I was when I was younger or something like that. So in what ways are you holding your back, holding yourself back? I can tell you right now that mindset is one way so i'd be i wouldn't be surprised if one of those cards came out again but what's the way you're holding yourself back <clears throat> so you got <clears throat> the observer the world <clears throat> sorry the world <clears throat> one way you're going to be holding yourself back is just not speaking up about the way that you feel you know i did say maybe don't share your doubts with just like people around you but that is something you would want to tell your therapist or write out in shadow work so that they can help you through my throat been fine all day <laughs> until until now but so with the observer in the world card um i'm also seeing that one way that you're holding yourself back is just not taking the time you need to really process these emotions in a healthy way. Some of you don't know how. Some of you just aren't comfortable with the way that needs to be done. But you have to like let bygones be bygones. When you keep re-triggering yourself by living in the past, like it does give the illusion that things are not okay right now, even though they are. Pretty much saying the same thing. You're holding yourself back by just saving too much and not enjoying yourself because you have this little bit of hopelessness that's making you feel like the good times won't last too long because you don't deserve them. You do deserve good things, friend. And I'm sorry that life came at you in a way to make you feel like you don't. I know how that feels and that shit sucks. Imagine being the bee's knees and thinking you ain't shit. And everybody else sees you the bee's knees and you can't even receive their compliments because you don't see it yourself. It's rough. So what do your ancestors have to say to you about this or just anything? Protection. Play. No doubt was coming out. Where are you being called to and unbound? So this protection is just talking about protecting your dreams. The best way to protect your dreams is to heal. Like the mind is so powerful and thoughts really do become things so the more that you think about not deserving what you have you are going to start to lose it so you protect that by immediately doing one of the two options that they gave you either therapy or shadow work to start resolving that so that you can stay on this high point in your life as long as possible then you got play again like just don't take yourself too serious have fun with it it's okay to let let your hair down or whatever i don't got no hair to let down but Take your ponytail holder out, girl. <laughs> Take your hat off, bro. Have fun. Where are you being called to journey to? You are absolutely in alignment with your higher self in the sense of like what you're doing with your life. 
Now you got some inside work to do, but the stuff on the outside, you got that together. So they're just saying, you know, focus more on where you want to go next. You don't got to focus on how you're going to get there. Just more details about where you want to go, who you want to be, and who you want to be around so that you can manifest accordingly. And then do your best to, again, just unbound from those negative thought patterns so that that doesn't start sinking your shit. Something from your spirit guides. What do they have to say about this or just anything? Caring community. So don't share your doubts with people because you don't want them to amplify it. But don't avoid people either. Because if you can find positive, sunshiny people to be around, people that are putting the work in on their own healing journey, that's going to really, really help you. You're the sum or the amalgamation of the five people you're closest to. So you need to find five positive ballers. So you can be number six. Period. And to close it out, what are three specific actions you should take to improve your life? We've already talked about several. 11-11 on the timer. Make necessary sacrifices, ask with sincerity, and embrace your power. You're going to have to sacrifice who you were to become who you want to be. And that sounds like a no-brainer to most people, especially if they didn't necessarily like who they were before. But you'd be surprised when you don't take care of those core beliefs, how much your spirit fights to stay the person that you believe that you really are deep down. And that's why it's so important to get to the root of things and really resolve it instead of just trying to push through so that you're not constantly swimming uphill. Pray for things to go in your favor on the path of least resistance. And ask that prayer with sincerity. You got to really mean it. The more feeling power you have behind a manifestation, the faster it comes to you. And embrace that power. You can do whatever you want. You can be whoever you want. You can go wherever you want. You can do whatever you want, you know? Like, embrace that. You the shit, friend. You all down the back of chips, friend. Don't let nobody tell you different. Not even yourself. Not even your brain, okay? So that's what I have for you guys today. If anything resonated, please like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. I drop videos almost every single day. I go through the entire Zodiac each week, and I just want to help you. When we have these little tidbits from Spirit, like it equips us to make the best decisions possible because we have a fuller picture. We're always doing our best with the information that we have. So the more information you have, the better you can do. But also when you engage with any of my social medias, these videos included, that helps me pick up on your energy imprint so that I can pull your storyline in these readings so it's just more helpful for you. It also gets the word out for other people who need this message, but they don't know this channel exists yet. So I thank you guys for all of your engagement, always, always, always. Um, if you want a personal reading, more information about where you're going next or like how exactly to do shadow work, anything like that, absolutely book a reading with your boy. Link's gonna be in the description box. All right, y'all. Peace.